Welcome to this new video everyone and this one I'll show you how you can create a water ball shader like this you currently can see. It uses actual displacement this time. Now let's create the shader, create a new one, a PBR graph. Create a material and directly assign it to the spheres. The left sphere is a sphere I created in Blender. It has way more polygons. That's useful for a more accurate displacement. But the right one is a normal unity sphere. It doesn't look too shabby either. Create some properties for the shader an alpha value, smoothness, drag them in and connect them to the master node. Now I'll start with the normal map. We will use the normal from height node because um, I won't use any special textures. I will only use the built-in gradient noise and therefore we need to convert the black and white values to normal values. Create gradient noise. Um, I connected the normal from height to a normal strength node so we can control the strength of the normal map. Now I'll use the same technique as before and I will uh, have two gradient noises which will be offset over time in different directions and multiply them to create a good looking changing um, pattern effect. Add a variable to control the speed, multiply it with the time and plug it into the offset of the tiling and offset node, which is connected to the UV of the gradient noise. The gradient noise also has a noise scale attached that we can control. For the duplicate the whole thing and for the bottom one just uh, multiply the speed or the time with minus one to have it change the offset in different direction and if you plug that into the normal from height we can already see it happening. Now it's currently completely invisible because the alpha is set to zero but we can higher the alpha value and already start seeing some normal map. It's barely visible but if you increase the normal strength it's more visible. The only problem is that currently it's in UV space and that looks a bit off and um, if you use it with spheres then we will change that in a few seconds but first create a color value that we also can control in the inspector and simply put it into the albedo of the master node. Now I will use the same technique from the last video and make some sort of triplanar mapping to overcome the issue with the UVs. 
just add a position and object space to the UV of the tiling and offset for the gradient noise. Then duplicate the whole thing and um, add both of them together. Now we need to change the rotation on the Y axis. So simply put a rotate about axis node in between the position and the tiling and offset and rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y axis. Same for the bottom one. Now we save it, we can already see uh, there is no issue with the UV anymore and it looks smooth. Now we will Take care of the displacement, just add in a position node in object space and I made a mistake here, you can't use the tangent vector, you need to use the normal vector. So if you do this it will look off, as I said you need to use the normal vector and then it will look fine. You just need to multiply it with the noise texture and with a displacement value to control it. And as you can see the displacement is fine too, there are no seams and it really looks like a cool water ball effect. In my opinion we should use some darker values and Then I will also change the noise scale, it's a bit too noisy, so turn it down a little. 